Hi chaps, thanks for watching. Um, this is just a quick video showing you how to install our skins, mods, uh, via a program called OVGME. Now the reason why we recommend OVGME is that it separates the mods from your DCS file so it can't cause any conflict or damage within DCS itself. So it's a very simple process. The first thing you need to do is head to our website which is www.59thravens.co.uk so that's 59thravens.co.uk I'll put a link down in the uh, description for you should you need it. Head to our website and under downloads you're going to see uh, our skins and a bit further down you'll also see OVGME there's also some other links in here to the actual range pack which is what we use but that is within our skins don't worry about installing that so the first thing you need to do is click here where it says here ironically what that would do it would take you to our Dropbox now within Dropbox it will show that yes it can't be viewed because it's a RAR file yes it is 1.4 gig yours will say download whereas mine says open because I already have it so once you've downloaded that, what you need to do is you need to find it on your computer and you need to put it somewhere where you know where it is. Now it's going to be called Raven Skins and Mods V5. That may change dependent on the variation, so the next one will naturally be V6, then V7 and then V8. So just set that aside and then go back to our website. And again on the downloads page you'll see OVGME mod installing software. Now this is a link to the ED forum. If you click it, it will take you there, which is a really good source of information. Now the reason why we're linking to uh, the ED forum is that the creator is always, always keeping it up to date. So this is where you'll come to find the most up to date version. So for instance, I'm going to click on this one, which is version 1.7.1. I'm going through 64-bit because that's what my PC is. Again, please check to make sure you uh, have the right one installed. Once you click it, it is really quick to install. Click on the download. Click Accept and then Next. Select where you want it to be installed. Now you can choose where you want the program to be installed. C drive program files is, to be fair, the standard verb, the standard area. I forever, I however will change my one to being in DCS world, which is a Pacific uh, SSD purely for DCS world. So I'm just going to change that. I'm going to select my language, which will be English. It only uses 2.8 gigs, uh, 2.8 megs, so it's not a huge file. And I would like it to create a desktop item. Done. Now I'm going to launch that quickly. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there you go, that's it. So once you've got this open, stop. You need to do another step first. And that is you need to create a folder for the mods to go into. So head to your DCS World um, folder. So you, you've got two choices. One, you can do it outside of DCS. Or the second one is you can do it within DCS. So for this instance, I will do it within DCS to show you how to do it. What you need to do is you need to create a new folder in here. Now there is already a folder called mods. Please do not use that. That is where your aircrafts go. That is not for mods. So if you right click, new, folder, and then name it what you want. I'm going to call mine underscore mods and as you can see it pops in at the top above API that's it so I'm going to minimize that for a minute and I'm going to head back to OVGME now it's asking me what I want to call this file this title so I'm going to call it 1.5 again for DCS 1.5 it's now asking me for the root folder of DCS so I'm going to browse to find my file and I'm going to click on just DCS world, that's all you do click OK 
now it asks for the mods folder now this is the folder we've just created called underscore mods so I browse go back into my DCS world and I'm going to look for that folder and there it is underscore mods not mods it is underscore mods and I'm going to click OK now I'm going to press the go button now what that's done is created a uh, structure for 1.5 now if you have another version of DCS installed you can add that so you only use one mod folder and one version of OVGME now the way you do that is you click new label it so I'm going to call this NTTR for DCS2 we're now going to find the root folder for NTTR which is classes DCS world to open alpha now I need to find the mods folder now I'm going to use the same one as 1.5 again it means I don't have to install the mods into locations again saving disk space but you have to remember where you put it now I put mine in DCS world and again remember it's the underscore mods which have that selected click OK and create now what that does up here on the Dropbox it gives you two routes one for DCS world and the other one for NTTR you can have as many of these as you like so you can do a new one for the beta version um, you can do as many as you like I'm just going to close this down for a second and I'm going to head to that mods folder that we had this one this is where all of the mods that you install go so for instance we've got the Raven skins and mods now what you would do is you will put that in here now in regards to our mods follow this exactly right click extract here now you have two options you have extract to Raven skins and mods and extract here if you do this what it would do it would double the folder called Raven skins and mods and that will stop it from working so for our skins please do extract here so we just wait for that to do its magic So if I now click in here, you will see that it's created a folder called Bizarre Core Mods and Mods. Now within them, they all have root folders for the skins and the mods. Once you've done that, you can delete this. You don't need it anymore. You might as well save an additional 1.4 gig of space, so just get rid of that. And then close that down. Go back to OVGME and now you will see it's got a Raven skins and mods file in there and it will do it for both versions that I have set up now to enable this you just click it and then select enable and then what it would do it would change to a green tick to indicate that it's been installed on 1.5 like so if I now go to NTTR it's not so again make sure you install it for NTTR as well now this is the same for any mod chaps not just our skins if you download a terrain mod this is exactly the same way as you do it if you download a sound mod whatever it may well be follow this process if and as long as it's OV GME or JS GME compatible now that phrase what does it mean so JS GME compatible means that someone's gone to the extreme of creating the root folders for you that's all it is. So look, they're now up and running, they're now on, so we can close that. And I'll show you in NTTR, or sorry, I'll show you in DCS. So if I now go into the root folder of DCS, uh, let's pick the Bazaar, and we go for the libraries, and we go 810C. You can see it's installed all of our skins in there. Yeah. 
If I go back to OVGME, select 1.5 in the skins, disable them. Oh look, they've gone. So they do not physically exist within the DCS file, so they cannot cause any conflicts. So it's a very, very good bit of kit because if you, for accidentally uh, install a, uh, let's say a mod from, say, the ED user files and it you know, corrupts your DCS, whatever, it, it won't because it's technically not in DCS. So bear with me, I'm just enabling this again. Got our green tick to say we're okay. Oh look, and they're back. That is how you install our skins and OVGME on your PC. That's it. Thanks for watching. But if you have any questions or need any help, please come and ask at any stage. Um, I'll post the links to the website down below. Um, yeah, good luck and see you soon.